Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the redox reaction between ascorbic acid and iodine. Check this out. For this investigation, I'm using aqueous iodine, I'm using ascorbic acid, and I'm using a 25 milliliter graduated cylinder. To begin, I'm going to add 5 milliliters of aqueous iodine to my graduated cylinder. Next, measure out 600 milligrams of ascorbic acid. In a second graduated cylinder, add 10 milliliters of distilled water and add your 600 milligrams of ascorbic acid to 10 milliliters of distilled water and stir the solution until it becomes completely aqueous. Once your solution of ascorbic acid is completely aqueous, start adding drops to your solution of iodine to observe the redox reaction. So I'm start adding drops and you'll start seeing the color of the iodine change. It's starting to look a little clearer. A little more. Okay, I've now added two milliliters of my ascorbic acid solution. That's two more milliliters and it's almost completely clear. This will bring me up to six milliliters of my ascorbic acid solution. There's still a little color down here at the bottom. Let's see if that brings it to a clear solution. It's starting to look much more clear. I think we're right about clear now. So now you can see that my solution of iodine has turned clear with the addition of six milliliters of ascorbic acid. There's absolutely no color of the iodine, it's completely colorless. So what's going on here is a redox reaction. You have the iodine is gaining electrons as it's becoming reduced and turns colorless and the ascorbic acid is being oxidized as it loses electrons in this reaction. Let's take a look at the equation. Here's the chemical equation for this redox reaction. We start out with the reactants, iodine I2, and ascorbic acid, C6H8O6, which is also known as vitamin C. When these are both in an aqueous solution and combined, we get the products, dehydroascorbic acid, C6H6O6, two moles of iodine, 2I, and two moles of hydrogen, 2H. So in this reaction, iodine is being reduced as it gains electrons, and the ascorbic acid is being oxidized as it loses two electrons. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.